that we like it or not, men in history are often more remembered than the women. There is a new move by Ridley Scott on Napoleon, Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon is one of the greatest chief commanders that has ever lived. He had amazing military skills. This is something that we cannot deny. More than that, he has more documented victories than any other battlefield commander in history. Napoleon is from Corsica, mid-gentry part of France. He is not born to rule. He is not born for glory. And yet, he is going to rise to power. He is a very opportunistic man. And what I love in this trailer is that we start his story with the French Revolution. No doubt you've seen the chaos in the streets. We must make an example or France will fall. What would you do if this assignment of defense was transferred to you? What I don't really like though is that we don't, from the trailer, obviously I hope in the movie it's more in detail, but in the trailer we don't really show the strong relationship between Napoleon and Robespierre. These two men have lots in common in terms of ego, in terms of ambitions, and in terms of tyranny. Mostly the difference between them is that I believe that Robespierre really tried to change things for the best, but everything went really badly, very quickly. Napoleon, I think, was really following his ambitions for glory only. What's so incredible as well for Napoleon is the fact that he truly, truly was loved by his men, but mostly despised by the people of France as the things are gonna go forward. I love the scene where he is crowned because he did crown himself. Shall we vote? Another thing that I think is absolutely remarkable in this trailer is that we're not trying to paint him as just this great man. Obviously, there's the word legend, but there's also the word tyrant, because he truly was. This vermin has held the world hostage with his egotism and his lack of simple good manners. You think you're great? What I really like as well is the fact that there's this woman who plays an important role in his life. And she reminds him in a scene that I find plausible. You're basically nothing without me. Just a tiny little brute that is nothing without me. What would you do if this assignment of defense was transferred to you? I promise you brilliant successes. In the trailer, we have Napoleon saying that he promised brilliant successes. And it's, it's a line that I find really interesting because it's a line that I can't really see uh, Napoleon say to someone else. I think that, yes, he would get victories. But I think here, the success had to be for himself and not for someone else. And that's really the rise of Napoleon is like how his men follow him almost blindly, how they admired his military genius. And what is really well done in this movie is that we do have a clear idea of what's going to happen. I mean, the work of Ridley Scott here is unbelievable and he's very good at it, obviously. Uh, I mean, there was Gladiator before, like there were so many good movies that are so epic. The fact that here he decided to have this movie on such a controversial figure like Napoleon, an emperor who crowned himself 
a tyrant who really oppressed many people and who tried to conquer as many territories as he could with very little care for the people he met. It's really with Napoleon, and I think this movie is doing that well, you see that he's just driven by glory and success, which means that he shows very little care for anyone else's well-being and let's forget about the commonwealth altogether. <laughs> so I think this trailer is very promising. I think there would be a lot to unpack. Uh, will be, it will be interesting to see if it's historically accurate. I think it will be very interesting to see what the historians of the period have to say. As a French historian and as a French citizen who grew up in France, um, I think the trailer gives kind of a um, a good representation of who we, I mean, I mean, obviously we're trying to find the man the legend, and I think here it's a kind of a PR move, if anything, but I don't think he's just portrayed as this great man. I think he's portrayed as a man who's completely consummated by power. I really hope you enjoyed that little video on Napoleon the trailer, and please Tell me what you think. Are you looking forward to this movie or not? Is there any other historical movie that you would like to see? I would like to know. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.